Okay, here we are at Nashville for the um Green flag, green flag, green, green, green! I forgot what it's called, the race is called. I'm just saying, so my memory is not bad right now, but yeah, anyways we got 57 laps. Uh we're gonna rather by first turn. Diving in, and now he's dumping us. The yellow flag is out. Let's go. Race back to the line. And uh, our tires are kind of destroyed, so we're probably going to have to pit this time. Okay, we're under caution. Catch up to the end of the pacing line. Stay behind. So here's what happened. He comes in, dives in. When I'm still in front, I have more room than he does, and then he just dives in and wrecks us and wrecks himself with a uh, gurney there. Cars on the back straight. Those four freshies on we should be good. The pace cars in turn three. Go, go, go! Keep it under 45. Keep it yeah, under yeah. 3,500 in second. The pace cars in turn four. I'm back to green with 51 to go. Green, green, green! Up again, don't by Curtis Sharn. Yeah, when there was one, or if there wasn't one, now Gurney is around, there's no caution for it. So he's gonna go a lap down and go with John Cox in the pit lane too, probably gonna go a lap down as well. Gone Tucker now. Why am pushed up and done? We're here now, he pushed into us. Uh, we clipped Abra, that's what happened there. And there was Sean Cox go around. Wait, something's wrong. Come on, you guys! We had a problem with one of the tires. Go, go, go! The paint cars in turn three. Keep it under 45. Keep it under 3,500 in second. Watch that Plus speed now. Keep it on 35. Back green, right behind Wolf McMillan as he checks up and comes in. Green, 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 green! He's trying to get around these hill guys. Now, Manny is trying to make it pretty wide. Six left, and now uh, they're wrecking again. Gurney in the wall, and now we're in the wall. We this is fun. This is good. Oh, no. We didn't hit the front end of the car, that might be fun. Okay, we're under caution. Stay behind. Thirty-first now. So Gurney gets turned by Bolt Smith, slams the wall. He's probably out of the race because of that. And then there I go again, turned into the wall and coming back down right in front of the goldsmith. And I think that might have been caused because people were pitting. I don't think it was caused by anyone that was in the crash. So hopefully, hopefully we uh, can finish this without any more caution. This is green, green, green. rampant under caution here. Left. Curtis is going to be really 
slow on the start and makes us check out. Pretty wide here. Try to get on their feet. I also without wrecking him though. That's why I locked though. Right. So far, only one right caused by me and two right caused by someone else. So that's better than me, right caused by most of the rest. Get around Alice, and now we just gotta work with the middle and AJ fully in front of us. It feels a little strung out because of the restarts. Rare to restarts that we have here. Around to get 26 to go. Lap 32. He's inside of the and AJ Foy. Oh, just getting in contact with him. Just sitting him around, sitting us in the walls. We should get really tight and have him hit the wall behind us because of it. Now, Bobby John's going to 5 to go. Has Still there. Nice here. Clear. Five to go, I believe. And we were on six to go. We're on five to go now. Coming up Just on the Sampa Quag here. We also got Jimmy Helms, David Pearson, I think that's Buddy Baker, and Jim Pascal. On the quag, get around him on the next lap. We got top 15 position. Outside, inside here. We blow. And now we're wrecking again because of uh, quag. As he pinched us down, here come up to and wrecked us. Just trying to get us whatever position we can. Just in front of us. Okay, we're under caution. Stay behind the car. Well, we're coming to the white flag under caution. Let's see the yellow lights. White flag. One yeah, more lap to flag. go. Like the Lear AI finally decided to get around the pace cars, but checkers out instead of the white. But unless we are on the white flag. Uh, I mean it's better than game last and being wrecked out, so I'll take this twenty second fit place finish as long as as so long as it means that I can gain a couple positions or a couple points in the uh, standings, just we almost pass the. Uh, now we're out here at Rothbury. Thirty to go. Get ready now. Going green. Yep, that green flag, weird race at Nashville. Green, green, green. Make this thing go all the way. So we're, we're not gonna need fuel. This time, really bad happens where. Sinks, or yeah, this race takes up so much fuel. This is the only way that we're gonna be uh, running out of fuel as we're, or if we wreck like that, so we try to get on there and potentially flip because of it. This race should be kind of a quick race. Should get around, try to get around the yard where Sean's here on this very inside because everyone's trying to get around each other. Fourth coming to, now third coming to 20 to go. Now we got Jimmy Helms and Dick Hutchinson in front of us. The only two in front of us that we gotta focus on. 11 laps down, coming to 12 laps out. And 19 to go. Come around again, start lap 13. We got 18 to go behind Jimmy Helms trying to. Close in that gap, potentially get us another win, hopefully. Car up. At 13 to go, we're making a bid for first here. So we've got Hutchinson there on the outside. We might be able to make a little bit of a slider type Car move here. But it's gonna not going to be enough. We're not able to slow him down enough, so we get 12 to go after that move. Get a little Clear contact there to get back outside. around under him. We're going to be side by side on the back stretch. we kind of in front there. Now clear we're going to be clear. Back. We're going to be able to lead our first lap here with 11 to go on lap You're 20. We're going to come around and get 10 to go. Down the back. 
after three and four. Ten laps to go. Now it's just clear, clear ground in front of us. Just focus on that. Two to go with the lappers in front of us. We have a three second lead, which at this track is pretty big lead, so. As long as nothing bad happens, I can clip by these lap cars or lap cars right in front of me or slam the wall too hard, we should be good. We got AJ McCoy, try to get around AJ McCoy, lap him. So we're coming down, three and four for the last time, we're gonna come off final corner and we're gonna just slide across the line and we barely just make it and we barely <laughs> was able to make it through the line when you're at Rothbury um, with the last race at uh, Nashville being won by Ned Jarrett which I forgot to mention as we do a little slide here don't worry about it okay we're here at uh, New Asheville uh, not Asheville, Weaverville, which would have been the actual track that we would have gone to. But uh, we don't have that track here, which is kind of a uh, disappointment. Especially when we have all these old 60s tracks where we don't have a 60s track that probably should be made in this game. It's been already made for a set of course, and it's never made for this. But anyways, we're here. We got 63 laps. Yeah, I'm getting tired of this. Three wide. Lap three, we get wrecked in a crash of. Uh, well, actually, I don't remember if it was my doing or not. Cause it went that fast. Uh, definitely got tight, and then we almost flipped over because of that. The stop sign at the end of pit road. The pace car, okay, up the car. Hopefully, we can get her out. We might be lapped three. though. We are lapped now with four in main now. now. But hopefully, we can uh, get good. We can, in the long run, if we can get pissed off, we can uh, pass as many people as possible. Maybe we can get back in the wee lap and just be able to pass some people. At least, just to not be in the almost last here. Hopefully doing that doesn't cause any problems. Wrecks that I don't want to be a part of. Which kind of why I'm hopefully be clean for the rest of the race. Just have that play out in my hands. I think we might have just, uh... Might have just actually, um... Injured or killed Daryl Dar Dar Danger on the inside pit no, opening okay, there in the wall on the back stretch. Show you what you mean. Right there, I get a little tight and then loose, and then I'm boom. That's about at least a couple cars out of the race. I think, yeah. A lot of cars piling in there. And you got the bleeders passing by. Okay, hey, coming back to hopefully it's the last restart. So just see, see if it plays out correctly. I mean, at this point, whatever happens, I'm still gonna race because we're halfway. As long as the car still runs, we're gonna keep going. Windows pitting. Now oh, we're sideways. Oh, and we're into the pit wall. And the car is still working, but. Blue tire. Blue tire, so we're gonna have to come down pit lane. And now. Limit 35. Yeah, that's pretty much our race. We're just gonna. We're just gonna coast around and wait for uh, any more people that have gone to Rex and uh, see if they uh, leave the race and I can try to pass and get some points, but we're out of the race as it looks now. Okay, right now we're coming up to about, I think, 8 to go now. We are we are currently about four laps down. We even have roof damage from how hard we hit on the pit wall, and another crash of. Well, actually, this time I don't know if it was more of my doing than AI, but definitely uh, had some problems there. We got four to go, so we're gonna be ending this on the caution most likely, as we're gonna be in seventeenth. If we just retire, but we're just gonna finish so we don't get that DNF. 
Pit road is now open. We can't pit this time by. We're not on the lead lap. So we're gonna come to the white flag. And I think that's the is that Jared down pit lane? Flag. I don't know if he go. was a leader or not because he has some damage. I don't know if that was during the pit lane or the pit or the caution or some something else happened before we wrecked or after we wrecked. But yeah, he was the leader, so that means I'm guessing Thomas Stoney is gonna win, and he does. He gets his first win of the season here at Asheville. As you see, he has a lot of damage down there. That's uh, questioning. Okay, here's the point standings, as Hutchinson still has a lead because of Jared being up in there, I think. Uh, Hutchinson's in a pretty good lead as Jared has the most wins, but he's kind of getting screwed because of a, a late season surge by Hutchinson. And I'm getting screwed because of a bad uh, late surge. And he got something with the one win there, 19th in the point standings. But that'll be it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one.